everybody on the internet. What is competitive metagame challenge? And play best of three matches to receive awards based on how many matches you win. Why can't I enter this? Thirty packs. What is this? Oh, it starts in eleven hours. Okay, that's good. That's a good reason. It actually seems pretty sweet though. Do you get? Oh, do you just not? Oh, until you reach one match loss. Ooh, that's rough. So three matches is where you where you finally break even. God, if you can win seven in a row, thirty packs is nuts. Yeah, that's definitely competitive, all right. Anyway, let's do some, uh, let's draft four of the spark, huh? Ticket entry, yeah, let's do that. I got a free ticket, mcschmicket. Picket and ticket, ticket and schmicket. Let's, casualty is worse, even if you just have a creature and a planeswalker, which is, and a land, I think casualty is worse, pretty bonk bonk busted and uh clever my cards thank you so much for saying so man really appreciate it and permanicious dude with the 15 months i love you too buddy i love you too um this card yeah like you're always gonna hit an artifact or not an artifact you're always gonna hit a land and you will likely hit a creature and a planeswalker in this format so i'm just gonna take this guy does Arena let you do Phantom Drafts? No. I mean, there's no real reason to, right? Like, um, okay, black cards or green cards. Grateful Apparition seems very, very good. Samet seems good. So does D-Spark. Divine Arrow also good. A lot, of, a lot of white cards in here that are good. This one, this one, and this one. This is good and Sa Smoot's good. Smoot. And Smoot's the dragon from uh, Lord of the Rings, right? Smoot. Um, actually, his name is Smog, Frank, not Smoot. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to take the salmon. I, I don't see a reason to go True out of True heretics will feel the bite of my blades. Okay, I understand. I don't see a reason to go out of the green-black for now. Uh, same thing with Zhang Yangu. I always want to just pick the, the Uncommon Planeswalkers a little bit early energy. because I feel like they're pretty good. I mean, they're Planeswalkers, right? So This guy also fixes your mana. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like practicing draft for free, sure, but Wizards of the Coast is a company that likes making money, so I, uh, I, I totally understand why they don't have free drafts. Uh, I like a Cronch Wrangler. I like it better than the red green deck. Because they got the the Raging Cronch. And we have no four power creatures yet. Arlen's Wolf might just be the pick here. I like Vampire Opportunist. I think it's pretty good. What up, Wungaloo? Um, Thundering Saratok, not too shabby. No, oh, this guy came back. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll take a Divine Strike. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, unlikely aid. Could be playable. Force Landing is great. Like having that. Thank you. Freedom Cobra, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 11 months, really appreciate it. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Bloom Hulk is pretty solid. A 4 4 4 4 that has, also has an ability is pretty good. I also kind of like commence the end game here, even though we have no. Uh, I don't want a double blue, double black, double green spell. I'm going to take the Bloom Hulk, regrettably, and hope we get. <laughs> Okay, well, second casualties of war is pretty good, right? The 2x casualties of war deck, that seems solid. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, Interplanar Beacon. Beacon. Interplanar Beacon. It's probably just Taskmaster, actually. Taskmaster is great. Uh, don't care about Narset. I do like a Crawl Stinger. Do I like a better New Horizons? Probably. New Horizons ramps us to five, which isn't terribly exciting. Oh, Raging Crunch. Gideon's Triumph. This card is actually surprisingly hard to deal with, and if you can put any counters on it, it's it's even better. I'll take the New Horizons here, though. Uh, Bond of Revival. Vampire Opportunist, again, pretty good. I do like this in the late game. Why so late? I don't know. Just didn't... Uh, I was tired earlier. And now I'm not. Oh, well, I was tired earlier and I took a nap and... I didn't want to not stream today, so... Here we are. Here we are. I guess we'll take this... Is Bond any good in our deck? I don't think so. Maybe. Could be decent. It's probably Snare Spider. We don't have one yet, and it does... I do like Tidebearer Giant, but we do have two six drops already. We'll just take this. It's fine. Yeah, I actually like Centaur Nurturer. It blocks well. It fixes your mana. It gains you some life. It does a lot of things pretty pretty decently. Uh, take Return to Nature. I like having one of these for the sideboard. Eh, two drop. Sure. Eh, two drop. Sure. Interplanar Beacon, maybe, whatever. Oh, the New Horizons came back. Wow. I don't foresee us playing it, but, you know. Oh, a uh, Feather. That's pretty good. Probably just want this Ashiok. Ashiok Unlimited seems nuts. And if this Aid the Fallen comes back, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll 100% take an Ashiok here. Terra is a lilting tune that crescendos into an opera. That's a solid. That's a solid soundbite. Jeez, I like band together a lot, but I'm also just gonna take this leyline. And that was really loud. I like Reaver. Shriek Diver's all right. Look at this three drop. Two two flyer. That gives another dude flyer. Flyer. <laughs> two one flyer for three. Same same cost, and it can just gain haste until end of turn for one mana. This art's fantastic though. Um, is it Reaver? What do our three drops look like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. I have two five drops. And we'll just take this guy, I guess. I've seen people use Kaya's ghost form to some success, but I haven't really... It hasn't been that good. Could just be Gateway Plaza. I'm not excited by that, though. I'll just take the Ghost Form. I don't think we need uh, Gateway Plaza in the two-color deck, but... It does a lot of splash things. Ooh. I don't think we're wrangling crunches here. Could just be Ugin's Conjurant. It's either Ugin's Conjurant or... Probably just Ugin's Conjurant, right? Courage and Crisis. All right. Yeah, that seems good. I've had people say they had good results with Curse's uh, Courage in Crisis, so I'm just going to take this. Well, I don't think the aid came back, which is kind of sad. like nothing in our colors in these last three packs. Oh, Dovin's, Dovin's Veto is a nice one. Alright, so we need one cut, looks like. Not too bad. Conjurant, counter the awards go from there. We 
can cut one of these dust mantle operatives. Everything else seems fine. All right, let's see if this deck is any good. Fair warning for those watching on YouTube, uh, and even those watching on Twitch, it might not be any good. So I will, I will take these losses in stride and assume that we did not have what it takes. Okay. Any land turns on every single other card in our hand. Oh, that's old Spooky Dan. Everybody knows Spooky Dan. Oh man, let's get the Zash Shock down. Oh, we did it. Dream. Oh, we just hit an Ugin, boys. Oh, wow, that's gas. My god, no attacks. Good, just a bunch of lands. We're gonna play this guy because it blocks both of these. Do they know this guy blocks? Oh, that seems bad, Spooky Dan. Spooky Dan, that was a spider, my friend. Oh, it's. Spooky Dan, what are you doing? Oh, no, there you go. Trigger, 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 trigger. Yep, that seems insane. So you make an absolutely terrible play with the uh, attacking into my 1-3, and then you redeem yourself by playing an absolutely bonkers mythic rare. I guess that's a thing. Just that guy, huh? I mean, might as well trade with it, right? We're gonna lose it anyway, so. Alright, so we could play... We have two blockers, right? So Ashok's gonna die if they alpha. But this guy would trade here, and this guy could trade to something else. So that ain't too shabby. Oh, I guess we could play, like, a Crawl Stinger. Oh, no we can't. We only have two mana. So we can play a tapped 2-3. Yeah, we'll just have it. Yep. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty insane. <sighs> Two at Ashiok, huh? Well, I guess you got him. I guess on the bright side, we only have to deal with a 4-5, a 5-6, a 5-4, and a 5-4. So that's actually pretty decent. Yeah, there you go. Oh boy. So just these two guys are coming in?
take 35 damage, I guess. I mean, I want to attack with this, but it doesn't do anything, except for it does get back. Yeah, we have six mana, right? So we'd have enough to... Four, five, six, right? Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. It didn't look like we had six when we were like... We only have nine cards left, so... If we can not die in nine turns, I feel like we got a game here, but I don't think that's going to happen. This is seven lands. How many do we exile? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm, that's good. Bouncing my spider. Congratulations. We block here, we take five, six, seven, yep, that's the game. That was a cool turn three Ashiok that did, did not matter because they just drew a million fat idiots. Hmm. Well, well Davriog's Shadow Fugue can come in here. Yeah, they also have Ugin and Rolesk, so that's pretty good. Kelsey, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I mean, oh yeah, I'm cruel because it because it exiles and you can't get the uh, what do you call it? The proliferate trigger. Oh man, Casualties of War OP right now, my dudes. So if they play a guy next turn, we can Casualties of War it and their forest? That seems insane. Oh, we're doing that for sure. Unless they play this. Prowler is a buddy. Oh man, double New Horizons? What in the earth? I guess now we're just gonna wait. Unless they play a Planeswalker here. So this is actually, this kills a lot of mana, right? Um, choose you, choose you, choose you. Target a creature, I'll take you. Target an enchantment, I'll choose you. Target a land, I'll choose you. Uh, 
That seems pretty nuts. That was what, a four for one? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Thanks for halfway through a lot of really sucky engineering school nights. I will see you on the YouTubes, buddy. Glad to help with those engineering school nights. Oh yeah, proliferate. Um... Two, three, four, five. We can actually play... We could play Courage and Crisis on this guy. I don't know if that's great, though. I want to play Thundering Ceratok, give this guy Trample, and we can still keep up. Um... Oh, they just, they just can see. Alright. Well, that game went a lot differently. Apparently, when you four for one with the casualties of war, you, uh... Your game doesn't really last that much longer. Has it seemed like he is more conceding in this set? Uh, not really. That's like one of the first concessions that I've seen. Keep this one. Nope. Don't like that. Can I get a green? Oh, look at this. Someone draw two forests from my deck. I think it's because the games are free. It's just like Hearthstone, where like you're not paying for the games, right? So a lot of times there's just more value in conceding. People have a, people have a lot of value on their time, right? So, you know, I mean, if I'm in a losing position and I'm just not going to pull out of it, like, I'll just concede. My t like, I think people underestimate time. We're going to actually lose a stinger here because if we attack next turn, or if they attack into us, which they won't. Cyberdrack, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. It is a magic baby. One magic baby. Nine months. Really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. They are super comfortable and you have minimal risk to try something you could really enjoy. Activate! Wow, you hit. That's amazing. Are you going to block there? No. Okay. Well, we missed the fourth land drop, which is unfortunate because our hand consists of four, five, six, and six. But, you know. It's a lot to ask for. Yep. Oh, look, another missed land drop. Well, at least if we lose this game, it's because we uh, got outplayed, I think. Got outplayed. Damn, Mandy's too hidden gem. <laughs> that is a hidden gem. I've got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Yeah, I have more casualties. I almost have more casualties of war than I do lands. So that's cool. Oh, another, another not land. That's fantastic. I'm having a good time. Everybody's having a good time.
I'm gonna say no blockaroos. Excuse me. Oh god, I'm dying. Is there a magic fest next next weekend? I'm literally dying here. Oh god. Where is the magic fest? Is it at your mom's house? Oh, Madison. I bet that's close to your mom's house. I like this bloom hulk with no planeswalkers and no creatures with counters on it. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. So you could block this. I think we're just gonna pass and then draw a card with the spark gentleman. The sparky boy. Although we could actually just play Bloom Hulk as a 4-4. I wanna hit lands. That's what I want. We can just sack Dusk Mandal operative. Eight mana, huh? This guy's holding everybody back. Yes, I will use Sack this thing. Draw Jangu Yangu McMangu. And we did hit a land. That's actually pretty cool. So one, two, three, one, two, put a counter on something. Jangu McYangu. I wish we had one more land. Then we can go three for Jangu. Uh, the creature with the counter we can tap, and then we can play Bloom Hulk, put another creature on another counter, and then same thing on that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just gonna play. We're still gonna play. This. Hey there. Let me know if you find any cool new plants. Let me know if you find any cool new plants. Plants? What a little nerd. Teamwork is strength. That's fine. That's good. No attacks. That was like two lands. What? <laughs> oh, I got a cool new plant for you. Thank you. <laughs> sea monk, welcome back, buddy. Eight months in a row. That's so close. It's so close to a to a little baby. And you know what to do. Oh, you attacking my Jangu Yangu McMangu? Well, he's definitely gonna die. I guess we could do a double block here, but I'm really. You have three cards in hand. I feel like we're just trading here. Do we double block here? Four, five, six, seven. Giant growth is a blowout. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This is a new path. If only that dude didn't have trample. Well, they have three cards, we have four cards. Actually, I don't feel like we're that far behind right now. Casualties can take out. It's not an artifact, is it? It's just a colorless weirdo creature. Man, that's awkward. Like, I don't even want a Casualties of War here just because it's like... It just doesn't do anything. Ugh, this is so bad, because like otherwise we could actually attack with this guy and get, like, the Crawl Stinger back, but right now it's just... Kind of meh. Two cards. Like, we just kill this in a land. It just doesn't seem exciting. I guess we have two, though.
Nah, eh, we're no attacks here. I don't feel like attacking. I'm like, oh, maybe I don't kill the 8-8. Yeah, I probably kill the 8-8. Oh, good. Never, never fails. I'm gonna hit Rolex. Rolex. You got it. No blocks, buddy. No blocks. So we can play this guy for two, and then we can also play Seraphon. Alright, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Seven cards, or two cards to two cards, which is nice. Although this is gonna get obnoxious. I'm not a big fan of this card in general, because I think four mana is a lot to do this. But like, I guess if you're drawing an extra card. It's eight mana though. In the late game, I guess it's good. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Now oh now now we got a bunch of lands. Look at that. You can just play this and keep and activate Dusk Mantle Seer or something. No attacks. Yeah, this is all fine. Watch, they're gonna play a New Horizon into Kiora Dawnbreaker Bringer. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Well, that's nice. Okay, so now we have two out of three cards. Sure. Oh wow, nothing but gas over here. Casually add 12 power to the board, I guess. Hey, there's a new horizon. I'm gonna pick one of these lands in the back. Uh, let's put a counter on the Taskmaster. Alright, now we got another 4-5. Seems decent. Last turn, this would have been great. We could have attacked, got a guy back. Here, they just drew Rolex, so they're gonna play Rolesque. Rolesque? Oh, just a second Crawl Triangle. This is actually super convenient with the uh, Key Horas guy, because now it's a. What is it, a 4 5? 3 4? 4 3? Yep. Absolutely incredible. Well, they have no cards in hand, though, so that's pretty cool. Was that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? It's a nine, nine? Yeah, seems good. I mean, they have 11 mana, so they can actually activate this guy like three times. Sure. I actually have no idea how we're going to get through this. I have 21, you have 15. Ashiok could be insane here. I guess we don't have any reach, though, so we're not going to really get through this guy. Oh, look, a Gather Courage. That's super, that's super good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana, so we can actually activate both of these, which is nice. Still don't feel like this is doing anything here. Yeah, 
Yeah, this card's not impressive, but when you get to 12 mana, I guess it starts being a little bit better. Sure. You know, Spooky Dan, for a guy that ran your uh, ran your flyer into my 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 snare spider, you sure are uh, sure are doing well for yourself here, buddy. Oh, yeah, can we do inactivate this? Because I was just too tilted by the uh, the sheer amount of bullshit he's doing here. I like that too. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright. Alright. Is there anything in our graveyard that. No. What's the out here? No idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, four, six. I mean, they've drawn at least like three extra, four extra cards off of the Vivian's Grizzly, so. I mean, Ashiok and winning in three turns could be good, but they're literally just drawing. They're drawing like two cards every turn because of this idiot. And they could probably do it again. <laughs> Got those birds coming in. Okie dokie. You got it, my dude. Oh no. This is nice. This is where we want to be. Four, five, six, seven, twelve mana. We're really close to just activating this twice, which is comical. Thank That's actually you. not bad. Oh boy. I bet this is where the alpha and we just die. I can't imagine they don't know. Neon Tokyo Rain, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. There you go. There you go. You definitely want to hit a nuke in there. Oh, Jesus. Is this a joke? Just alpha, dude. I'm at 13. There ain't no fogs. Why kill it? Because it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't do anything right now. Like, there's no benefit to killing one of these birds. Three, four, five. Jesus, come on, dude. Alright. Well.
You think it's only stubbornness that magic doesn't template when this enters the battlefield and when this dies? Like, because obviously Death Rattle is a Hearthstone mechanic. This Death Rattle amass one, right? And, um, you know, Battle Cry is a Hearthstone mechanic. It says, you know, which is basically when this enters the battlefield. So it's, it's interesting to me that, like. What do we hit here? Uh, Grim Initiate and two one drops. That's interesting. I mean, you could just easily have, you know, Battle Cry, comma, or like rather, you know, whatever the whatever the 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 end one would be, like you know, death or whatever. When it when it you know, death amass one, and it just saves a lot of space. It saves a lot of templating space. Yep, sure. I guess I'll sacrifice the Ashiok. Thank you. No, I guess I'll sacrifice uh, my my spider. Well, this is not terribly impressive. I don't think they're in too deep now. They've they've made changes like that before. Like they've changed things like Life Link. They've changed things like Hexproof. Like there's all kinds of changes that they've made after the fact. You don't not make a game. You don't not make improvements to a game because you're too committed to the to the old way. Like that's just that's like one of the first rules of not making progress. You know what I mean? Like. Well, we don't want to change things because we're too far in. Well, that's just that's just making things worse. First strike, so so we dealt two. They can discard both their cards, draw two new cards. It's not bad. Plus, like it just means the old cards say when the center of the battlefield. New cards say like. You know, um, arrival, right? Let's say it's it's called arrival. Like when this when this creature enters the battlefield, do X, right? So it could have like arrival, deal two damage, and it's just so much cleaner having a word that says ar arrival than than saying when this dies or like when this enter when this enters the battlefield. Like it's five words. How many? How much? How much space does that even? Say? How did this guy survive? What just happened? Oh, they used aid the fallen to get it back, and then they. They did. Did they discard Liliana's Triumph? Well, that's something, isn't it? Why you no know, sleepy? Oh, dude, I don't go to bed till like five a.m. That's why. <laughs> this is not my bedtime, good sir. Well, that's cool. I had two cards, and you made me discard them both. Wow, this game, despite their deck looking pretty mediocre, is, is going pretty oddly. Another one drop. So we're looking at four one drops, a blind blast. And then, like, three sacrifice, three premium uncommon sacrifices, and a, and a neheb. This is all very confusing. What's going on, Jakesha? Oh, man, good times. Uh, oh, I see now. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Sacrifice your Grim Initiate and your Bane Hound, huh? It all makes sense now. No land. And it's a fucking land. Oh, amazing! I guess we'll end the turn here. Oh, it's Jang... Django. Django. <laughs> Mawu's Bach is much cuter. I will help you through this. 
Yeah, let's see how many counters we can get off this guy. We could actually Eternal Taskmaster. Put a counter on Spark Reap. Oh, I see. That's nice. This is your first lesson in pyromancy. That is special. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get burned? I did, because you used your ability on the guy. Uh, this is best of three. This is just traditional draft. Interesting. You're tapped out? Oh, you're not even attacking. Okay. Well then. What we can do is put a counter on... Four, five, six, seven. We can put a counter on this guy. Attack with this, which would be futile. But, I mean, we can, let's just get back Bloom Hulk. We can do, then proliferate onto all the other dudes. It doesn't seem terrible. We're basically trading this in for a Bloom Hulk. Well, I'm not, I have no reason to not play this because they do have things that make me discard, so... At least we have decent blocks here. Block here, block here. This guy probably gets hit. Uh, she can target anything she wants. She has any target. damage and you don't control Shauna plans all for sure seems good all their draws have been fantastic the cards they drew that we didn't make them discard are Chandra's Triumph Davriel's Shadow Fugue Liliana's Triumph Liliana's Triumph A Angrath's Rampage Jaya Devouring Hellion and Neheb so sure she goes to I have a reputation to uphold The only games I lost were to Massacre. Yeah, that deck is insane. You can thank Josh VS for that list. That was a good one. Well, at least Giant doesn't do anything else, but... Oh, wow. They're not attacking again. I don't even know what's going on here. It's all very strange. Sure. Be your best self. Well, they can't attack with. They can't activate Jaya anymore, so that's right. No attacks. End of the turn. If they try to target our Ugin's Conjurant, or even if we, we can just block with Ugin's Conjurant and then um, draw a card. We also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. If we can bounce this.
Oh, ever seen the movie Life with Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds? I don't think I have seen Life, actually. Oh, is that like the new one? It didn't look very good. I think it was. I think I actually saw the trailers for that while, like, in the theater for Deadpool, and I was like, "Oh, it's another Ryan Reynolds movie." Yeah, it's my turn, I guess. Oh yes, fantastic. Fantastic. I wish this was like. I wish I could actually just add counters to this, like walking ballista. Like a weak ass walking ballista. Put one counter target creature. I don't think it's worth just wasting this now. I mean, the downside is we don't get a counter. If they kill it, the downsides we don't get a counter. The upside is if we draw like courage, we can proliferate onto it, add a counter to something else. And then add another counter, so. Sure. Well, that's sad because now we have Spark Reaper. So now we can't sacrifice easily. Wow, it's another land. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. One, two, three, four, five, six lands. So if you were playing a game of Magic with someone and you had seven cards in your hand and they had seven cards in their hand and they took four cards out of your hand, do you feel like that's a fair game of Magic? I, I really don't. Um, I'm actually just going to use this because if we sacrifice anything, this is going to deal one damage and I'm pretty likely to sacrifice this at some point, like block and sacrifice. Oh, it's my my bad. Okay, we're just... Yep, that's what I wanted. 12 lands. We have drawn 12 lands. Fascinating. What could possibly go wrong? Are they just like sandbagging lands and like I want to discard all these lands? Oh, I didn't even see this guy was attacking. That's super awkward. Sure. Gain one, take one. You got it. like a land. Watch, they're pulling three lands. They're just going to pitch three lands. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. What 
That's hilarious. Yep. Okay, a th is that a third Bane Hound? There's one here. Two here. I have three Bane Hounds? There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's fantastic. I'm also going to be sad if I lose Dedic to plays six one ones. Right? We have, I think it's five. One Bane Hound, one Grim Initiate. Another Bane Hound. Another Bane Hound, another Grim Initiate. That's five at least. Plus, this, like, deal one damage target because you can't block is not great as far as I'm concerned. Some people said it was alright. Maybe they're right. Uh, no, don't activate that. Let's pass to a blocking step. Three, four block here. We're at six. Oh, we're at six? Oh, that's cool. So one, two, three. Oh, block here. Take one, two, three, four. Yeah, and they're probably dead. There's no doubt they have another burn spell or kill spell or something. I guess we could have actually taken uh, three lands out and just played 14 lands because that seems like the right number. It seems like that's probably where we want to be. Oh yes, there you go, exactly. Congratulations. It took you minutes, but you figured it out. You figured it out, Reaper. All right. Take out one casualties, bring in this guy. All right. I don't know. Deck seems fine. Maybe I don't know what a good deck looks like. Does Kai's Ghost Form have flash? Sure. You know what? It's got two spells I can play relatively early. Ghost Bomb has Flash. I don't know. Let somebody guess. You're going to Chandra's out, or you're going to Chandra's uncommon this to kill it and then attack for one. Sure. That's significantly better for us. We can actually Sam at this guy gain four, and that's a good that's a good deal. Why haven't I been to FNM lately? Yes, well it's crawfish season. My girlfriend forced me to go pick and boil ten pounds of crawfish and blue crabs every Friday. Wow, that's crazy. Look, we got one. Of, we got rid of our eighth, our seven thousandth land. So that's pretty cool. Now we don't have to draw that seven thousandth land. Oh, it was another land. It's okay, guys. There was another land right underneath it. And another land under that. So we're just getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would have been nine lands to four spells. Meanwhile, our opponent has yet to the fourth land, so, you know, everybody's got problems. Sacrifice a creature. Uh, you know, I want to sacrifice the good one. 
so I can block this. And then we have nothing on board though, so I don't think we care about it. whatever. I'll just get rid of this guy. I will never bow to you. Hazard, forgive me. Oh, that's a big fat boy. Twelve to twenty-six. All right. That's a one-one. All right. I'll probably block here. I have four cards in hand. This is ridiculous. So that's good. Get a creature back. You know, I actually have a red mana though, so I'm not too con too concerned with that. Well, you just die if I cast you. But the counter is probably relevant here. Maybe not yet though. Because we won't be able to play a blocker next turn. Here's a mountain for you. There you go, congratulations. Four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Four mana. Here we go. Block a three three one one. Seems fine. Oh, they just take it. All right. Oh, I see. 
what sex three dudes put six counters make it an eight eight we take three yeah that seems good oh look exactly what we said how about that other casualties of war then I have no idea what's going on right now. That would be great if they didn't have an 8-8. Okay, Dave. Mm. Oh boy, there's a cloud. Wow, yeah, our deck does not seem very good, unfortunately. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, yeah, do that. I'm pretty sure we can win if they do that. We can just chump block here and take three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Attack with both. Seems good. Pretty sure we put two on the bottom, that's ten. And they have drawn five. Well. Pretty sure unlike Cube, there is nothing in War of the Spark Limited that is gonna actually help me get through this, so. Two, unless they pump it, which I'm sure they will. They did not. So they play Jaya and Dilas too. Yep, nailed it. And that's how we died. What's up, Josh? Good seeing you, buddy. Prepare to burn. Oh, look, they did it to our face. Are you watching closely? Seems good. Oh boy. Can't gain life with Spark Reaper. They would just deal us one damage from the Mayhem guy. Oh, we got a pack though. That's cool. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Check me out at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can also check out Manatraders.com. And they have an awesome deal with the promo code and link in my description. Where you'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. So be sure to check those guys out. And uh, you can also find me at CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code Frank5. You get 5% off. And you can find a brand new article that I just wrote this week. With a pretty sweet Elder Spell Grixis Niv Mizzet deck. So, uh, and by nickname is Nickel Bolas. So definitely check that deck out and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.